Good morning. Thank you for coming. Uh, so uh, let's thank uh, the department team of, uh, uh, here that uh, organized the, this event and uh, Dr. Abdullah. And so we will enjoy the seminar today. And I will give you microphone to you to say a few words. Thank you, Enzo. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Web 2014 Business Leadership Series, Learn to Lead. We are gathered here today to welcome Mr. Ziad al -Bassam. Today, I'm honored to introduce to you a highly esteemed businessman and leader in Jeddah and the Kingdom, Mr. al -Bassam, who is heavily involved with the JCCI as he served as a member of Board of Directors since 2005-2013, Chairman of the Small Enterprises Center and the Finance Committee, and a member of the Commercial and Commercial Fraud Committees. The JCCI, for those of us who are not aware of it, is a nonprofit organization that looks after the business community in Jeddah. Its mission is to serve as a model institution that sustains achievement and promotes positive change in the private and public sectors. Also, it is our great pride to congratulate Mr. al Bassam for being nominated as vice chairman in the recently held election at the JCCI. In addition, Mr. al Bassam serves as the chairman of Akaria Development Company and Dar al Balagh Broadcasting Group. He is also a board member of a number of organizations including Spacetune Media Group, one of the most recognized children's media brands in the Middle East and North Africa. Among many other positions, Mr. al Bassam is active in many social programs and he's a member of a number of social and charitable organizations and committees in Saudi Arabia. Mr. al Bassam received his bachelor's degree in business administration from King Abdulaziz University and he's currently working towards his MBA. On behalf of KAUST, University Development, and Dr. Abdullah Al-Majil, we all would like to express our warmest thanks to Mr. Ziad al Bassam for his co contribution to the success of Web 2014 by agreeing to be one of the speakers of the Business Leadership Series, Learn to Lead. Today, we are honored that he will be sharing with us his experiences as a Saudi business leader. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. Ziad al Bassam. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa salatu wa salam ala sayyid al-anbiya wa al-musaleen, sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. First of all, I would like to thank the University of Kaos to introduce me to be here with you to talk with the most important topic about the SMEs and entrepreneurs in Saudi Arabia. And actually, um, I spent more than 20 years in my life with uh, SMEs and entrepreneurs, uh, especially in the Chamber of Commerce and in a different part to support the SMEs and entrepreneurs in Saudi Arabia. Before I will going to start to talk about the SMEs and uh, the entrepreneurs in Saudi Arabia, let me to tell you one story It's happened to me when the first time I was be elected to be a board member of the chamber. This is before maybe 12 to 15 years old. In, in the beginning of the first uh, board, I was talking about SMEs and how we come and how we have to support SMEs. And keep talking about SMEs and SMEs and SMEs. And one of the, our board member just interrupted me and asked me one question. He said, SMEs? What kind of disease this is SMEs? And that is, I tell you the story because how the knowledge about the SMEs before 15 years or 12 years in Saudi Arabia is entrepreneurs. And alhamdulillah, everything is now different. They are more focusing about SMEs. And uh, there is a lot of more initiatives about SMEs in Saudi Arabia. And this is what we are going to talk about. Uh, number one, we're going to talk about the definition of SMEs. Sorry to tell you, there is no any official 
definition about SMEs in Saudi Arabia. And every uh, governmental entity, they give their own definition for the SMEs. Uh, labor ministry, they, they just count the, the SMEs in, in how many labors in the institution to count it is a small or, or different kind of size of, of uh, 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 institution. And also, uh, when we talk about the number of labors, we in with, this is the, the definition it's given from the chamber. The number of labors should be less than 20 individuals and the investment capital less than 1 million, and the turnover, it will be less than 10 million. And, all, and also we face some obstacles to, to count. This is because there is nothing can count how uh, capital is, and even in the CR, it's not showing, and if it's showing, it's not the real what is showing. And this is one, uh, you know, what one we face, the problem we face to define the uh, SMEs. Fact and figures about SMEs. And this is also, we do not have any accurate figures about the SMEs in Saudi Arabia. There is, even the numbers which we have about the SMEs, in each governmental entity is different than the others. And also there is, there is no any governmental entity uh, responsible for the SMEs to give the accurate numbers about all the figures and facts. And we try just to figure out from bar to bar about the SMEs. The percentage of companies in Saudi Arabia, uh, this, is, this is the figures bring from uh, the labor ministries. Uh, you will going to see about 98% of the Rudy's company is SMEs. Because very small is less than 10%. Uh, so 10 persons in, in the company, and small is less than 20 persons in the company. And this is counted more than 98% of the Saudi companies. And when we talk about the individual establishment, around 93%, and the limited liability is 47 and also most of it, of this, is it small businesses. Um, Concentrated economy activities for the small businesses in trade, it's almost 34%. In construction, 32 In manufacturing, industrials, it will be 14%. And uh, also, this is from the Ministry of Planning and Economy. And also, the total GDP of the private sector is 33%. And the SMEs are the very small part of this percentage. The services offered to the SMEs and entrepreneurs from the governmental side, there is a different governmental entity. Uh, they try to just offer some kind of services to the, to the SMEs. And um, in the Jeddah Chamber, most of this governmental entity and non-governmental entity, we have a relation with them to support and provide some kind of services to the SMEs and entrepreneurs in Jeddah. Number one is Saudi Credit and Saving Bank. And, uh, this bank who is responsible for the SMEs right now uh, in the governmental side, but it's not focused for the, the SMEs, and they give some loans, and you know, most of the loans is it not going to the SMEs, it's going for the social loans and other activities. And we do not see uh, the Saudi Credit and Saving Bank doing something we can you know, um, justify with it for the SMEs. Number two is a kafala program. This is kafala program is uh, initiatives coming from uh, banks and uh, the SAMA. Uh, this is to give bank guarantee for each, each bank who would like to uh, give a loan for the SMEs. But most of the banks, they do not want to, to loan the SMEs because it is a lot of paperwork, it is costly, and they do not use the kafala as that much. Human Resource Development Fund also it is one of the entities who's, who's supporting the SMEs in Saudi Arabia. And uh, for what kind of uh, any services they offer for the SMEs and entrepreneurs, they give two years uh, monthly salary who, who is starting their own businesses. And there is some uh, minister their businesses like Jiddah Chamber and so on. And we have more than 500 uh, uh, SMEs in the chamber with under the human resource uh, 
uh, subsidies. National Charity Fund, also they give uh, some kind of uh, uh, subsidies to training for handicraft and some kind of uh, skills to start their own businesses and train the SMEs. Number five is Entrepreneurship Central, uh, which is under uh, TVTC, Technical and Vocational Training Corporation. And this is try to talk all the, the people who uh, graduate from TVTC to let him have their own businesses and uh, try also they are signing with uh, Saudi Credit Saving Bank to give him the loan through this. The other, the other uh, entities in Saudi Arabia, the semi-governmental and the private sector supporting the SMEs, they are uh, the Centurial Fund and they give loans, uh, soft loans for the SMEs and the chambers, the different chambers, they have their own uh, uh, centers to supporting the SMEs and there is also in jazz. In jazz, this is initiatives come from uh, some of the banks and other private sector to supporting the SMEs or they just initiate uh, some kind of initiatives for uh, the elementary school and secondary school and also for the people who is in, in, uh, in university to start their own businesses. They give him some kind of competition for uh, eight weeks. They give him loan for 2,000 real and they do the competition and they end up for who is winning and how, how, how much they will go into return, how they start their own businesses and they give him some kind of supporting to um, uh, starting their own businesses. This is some of uh, uh, cooperation between Centurial Fund and uh, the Jiddah Chamber. This is also with the Injaz and this is with the Injaz and also this is um, ALG, Fabriz, Jamil, they have a lot of initiatives to supporting the SMEs and the entrepreneurs in Saudi Arabia. Also, uh, Al-Ahli Social Responsibility Program, there is a lot. And also there is a new program coming from Aramco. Saudi Aramco is a wide program to supporting the SMEs. And this is some uh, what we are did uh, uh, with Al-Ahli, uh, how to start your own businesses. And now we are going to talk uh, the role of the Jiddah Chamber of commercial industry to supporting the SMEs, Jiddah SMEs Entrepreneur Center. Uh, it is a non-profit uh, center working to support entrepreneurs and small businesses through several initiatives like uh, economy research, marketing, policies, analysis, and provide technical support, training, and work to overcome obstacles and uh, procedures for the establishment and uh, the SMEs. The center mission is to be the prime initiators to support and developer of small businesses and entrepreneurs in Jiddah. And this is what the, our uh, vision is, utilize most advanced businesses and inform information system available to serve the SMEs, support the small business through research and finance, carry out business environment, obtain best skills and uh, profession for the small businesses, carry out studies related to public policies and procedures in order to improve, simplify small business environment, and also there is a role uh, for the chamber. We do it. We do a training. We have a huge of training program for the SMEs in, and who would like to be a newcomer for the businesses in Jeddah. And we uh, do a technical support and give a different kind of technical support for uh, the people, some kind of uh, how to start their own business, how to do their business plan, how to do uh, uh, the visibility study, and so on. And also, we, we, we put a lot of pressure to simplify the government, uh, the government uh, progress and procedures. And also, uh, we support to obtain a, uh, obtaining a fund for the small businesses. And also, we, uh, we give a, pre a brief visibility studies and investment opportunity for those who would like to start their own businesses. Let us go to the center committees. We have different committee. We have executive committee centers in the Jiddah Chamber, and also we have Young Business Committee, Young Businessmen Committee, and we have Young Businesswomen Committee. The center event and activities, we have more than 130 different activities and program in 2013. And this is a, a, it's a program how to start your own business in al -Kumfuda. This is how to do your financing, uh, bookkeeping, and also how to uh, import and export your uh, goods. And this is also for uh, how to do uh, your e-marketing, 
um, how to start your own businesses. And also this is for the uh, university uh, student, how to start their own business. And also you know, this is with the other companies who would like to support the SMEs. And one of the most important things we do, do it in Jeddah Chamber is the Young Business Exhibition and Forum. And this is it uh, more than 300 boots to bring those people to, to, the, to the exhibition and let him to represent their, their businesses. And also we do uh, in this forum a meeting, uh, meeting with officials and we give uh, successful stories and uh, we give also, we call it 60 seconds to uh, those uh, entrepreneurs give, uh, introduce about their own businesses in a 60 second and maybe they will find some kind of merger and or they will kind of find some investors come to, with them. And also we meet with the expert and this is some photo for this exhibition. Uh, it will be opened usually by uh, Royal Hans uh, Harder Faisal. He opened the ceremony. This is the sixth exhibition, annual exhibition and uh, this is he's working on the exhibition. And also the Minister of uh, Educational, Minister of Information, Minister of Labor and Minister of Trade. This is part of the exhibition. And also we have Jid Entrepreneur Meet and Competition. And this uh, Jid Entrepreneur Meet and Competition is it, uh, uh, we do a competition for uh, business women. We open it in, in the website. We this the competition. Uh, we ask all who would like to have start their own businesses or they have existing businesses to come. And we do this uh, competition. We give him some kind of uh, uh, training program and we did the competition for two months. And the end of this uh, program, we face up with the 10 winners Every winners of this team, they will going to have uh, granted for 150,000 riyal to support their businesses, and it's not it's giving two slides. Uh, the first phase, they give we give him 50,000 riyal, and we we appointed a mentors for them to be assured they doing what the business plan they did, and after that we give him the second slide, and after that the third the third slide, and this is. Uh, we did it with, uh, with an agar, as a supervision with an agar. And this is some of the activity of this uh, uh, competition. International trip. We do a several international trip through Jeddah Chamber. And this is the trips different for each one, like a Japanese trip, a Japan trip. Uh, uh, this is uh, sponsored by Toyota Abdul Latif Jamil. And we took all the uh, uh, entrepreneurs in, in uh, in Jeddah Chamber to, uh, who would like to participate in this trip to visit Japan and see how, how kind of services they offer there and how would they can benefit from the Japanese way to uh, entrepreneurships and, and so on. And the China trip, is, we are, there is a big uh, exhibition in China, they call it uh, Kwanzu, uh, Qua Canton Fair in Kwanzu. And we, we support this trip by 50% of the cost of the trip we talk to those uh, people who would like to start their own business or they have existing businesses there to see what, what uh, there and how they can benefit from this kind of exhibition. And also uh, they start their own and, and, and if you hear the last week, there's one of the, the people, one of the entrepreneurs who attend this China uh, uh, trip, he won uh, SRR competition from the labor and he won 1,100 riyal. United Arab Emirates to visit what kind of centers and what kind of supporting their gift for the entrepreneurs, Turkey, Britain, Morocco, French, United States, South Korea. Also, we sent some of our staff to the United States, to Britain, to uh, you know, have their own training there, uh, train the trainer in, in the Britain and the United States, how to support and uh, how uh, to just give more uh, supporting for the entrepreneurs. This is part of the photos for the, those trips in Britain. Incubators, we have also in Jeddah Chamber incubators in, uh, in the building uh, B in the chamber in the fourth floor. And this incubators, it's, uh, it is uh, cooperating with uh, King Abdul Aziz uh, city with the Badr. And uh, now we have some of the 
uh, entrepreneurs in, the, in those incubators. We have uh, franchise form, and we think the franchise is the, the good way for the entrepreneur to start their own businesses through the franchise because is it a clear system? There is some monitoring from the franchisee and, and uh, franchisor and, and how they start and to be everything more smoothly for them, and we do um, yearly franchise form. And also we have global company uh, serve the, uh, the SMEs and entrepreneurs, and this is one of the Shell program. We did it with them. And this is uh, also the Shell program. And this is, we have also Microsoft Day, the full day for, with the Microsoft to, for the entrepreneurs. And we have also Google, Google Day, and uh, full day about Google. We have Entrepreneur Week. And this is to support and give a focus for the entrepreneurs uh, and uh, for the whole Jeddah community, the business community, how they can just supporting the entrepreneurs. Social meeting, we have a different social meeting uh, for the entrepreneurs. Uh, number one meeting, we call it Young Business Diwaniya, is a social meeting. They sit with each other, discuss some kind of obstacle, how they solve it, how they can just work with, with each other about it. And this is, it's a monthly hall. And we have met the business leader, and we have a lot of business leader. We bring him every two months to the entrepreneurs and the small businesses to hear from them and to just give him uh, some kind of a brief how they start their own businesses and how they succeed uh, and how they just solve all obstacles they face. We have Sheikh Saleh Kamil, uh, Saleh al Turki, Subhi Batarji, Ahmed Futehi, and so on. And we have met with uh, Bioneer, and we have a lot of uh, Bioneers they meet. Rami Abu Ghazala is Al-Bayk, uh, Walid Fitehi, Dr. Hayat Sindi, uh, Jamil Farsi, and so on. Also, there is a meet with the officials. We meet uh, with the uh, Minister, Trade of Ministers, Minister of Trade, sorry, and we meet with uh, Labor Ministers, uh, Educational Ministers, and uh, the Deputy of Sagi, and so on. And we also do choose your major form in, in Jeddah Chamber, and this is uh, especially focusing for the graduate from the high school to the university, and we give this uh, form to support them how to start their you know, uh, university educational, or did they have to start continue in educational or go to the vocational training or other kind of training, or they have to start their own businesses, and this is how to su support them, how to know what they have to do. And also we have a guide, book guide, we call it Intilaqat. And this is a book guide, is it uh, 500 uh, entrepreneurs bio and what their businesses in it. And also we bring 15,000 and distribute it for all the people who are, are interested for supporting the SMEs and entrepreneurs. al Masfaq for small businesses, we have uh, uh, place we call it al masfaq and al masfaq is a uh, uh, very traditional Arabic word. It's the, the place whose the deals have been in. Uh, we call it in Arabic it's al masfaq, and uh, we 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 do small masfaq for the small businesses. And this is the it hold for uh, all the small businesses. They have a project or they have project they would like to. Uh, find a partner, they can go there, and we were looking for the partner for them there. And also we can do some kind of uh, studies for them, like feasibility uh, uh, studies, business plan, and how to support them to do those things and find partners for. And also if they need a finance, we find him a financer uh, for their uh, uh, project. And also uh, if there is, he looking for merger, or, or he looking for some kind of acquisition, they go for the Masfaq to find the place. This is the opening ceremony for the Masfaq. Uh, endowment fund for SMEs, we have in the Jilda Chamber endowment uh, fund. It is uh, uh, 100 million real, uh, especially for supporting the SMEs and entrepreneurs. The obstacle face by, faced by the small businesses and entrepreneurs in Saudi Arabia. There is a huge of obstacles faces. The abs number one is the absence of government entity to support the SMEs. The lack of government policies and program to support also the SMEs. Law and regulation to support SMEs, and most of the law is against the SMEs. 
the lack of funding program and what is the need of the SMEs in Saudi Arabia? Number one need is governmental superior body to you know, taking care for all SMEs and entrepreneurs in Saudi Arabia. Some perfection of government proceed, uh, progresses and procedure. The most important is one-stop shop, and we do not have any one-stop shop here in Saudi Arabia for SMEs. And also we would like to have e-government, especially for the SMEs. Economic data and information, they need coaching, especially monitoring program. And also they need a huge of training program. And uh, we need expansion in the type of financing like angel investors. We need venture capitals, microfinance, finance the, franchi uh, the franchise uh, project. And also we need a long guarantee scheme. And investment opportunities, they are looking for some kind of brief visibility study and what kind of investment opportunities they can work on. And also uh, subcontracting, we have to focus in subcontracting to the small businesses from the huge company. They have a huge of construct uh, contracting uh, construction with the governmental. Outsourcing, they need also some guidebooks and um, different material to start their own businesses. And also they need incubator and business uh, accelerators. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Ziad al-Sam. At this point, we'll open it up uh, for questions that anybody might have. Please raise your arms, uh, hands, and then we'll get the microphone over to you. Uh, thank you for your speech. Um, actually, um, I have two questions. The first one, what are, is the social meetings that you have? Are they limited just to only to Jeddah city, or they are open for the all cities in the, in the country of Saudi Arabia? Actually, this, this initiative is coming from uh, the businessmen committee, and they hold it in the place as a social places, and they are invited m most other people who is in, in the circle of this. Uh, and if you would like to come, you are most welcome. I mean, you know, can, um, can a, you know, a Bassam company go, you know, goes to the Riyadh city and open, you know, like a workshop to the small businesses over there in Riyadh or in Tabuk or in Dammam? and invited you know, the small businesses to come and share uh, the ideas, or they are just limited to come to Jeddah? Actually, we are in, in the chamber. We have a connection with a different chamber in, in different parts of Saudi Arabia, and we try just to go up, and also we will also to duplicate what we are doing, and we bring the different uh, chambers to Jeddah to let him to see what we are doing here and try to duplicate what we are doing to do it in their cities. And how does you know the the new laws or the new rules that have been by the Ministry of Labour um, affect the Bassam company? Does it affect it you know in a positive way or in a negative way? Yeah, I'm talking here about the SMEs and entrepreneurs, and I think this is you know, we are keep talking with the uh, Minister of Labour about how it will be affected, and uh, we did in the Jeddah Chamber. Uh, a different uh, workshop to, to, to study what how kind of effect it will be this uh, new rules that will be for the SMEs. And we send him some different letters about this is, and he holds those uh, uh, new rules and we keep discussing with him how to improve it to be, it's not negative uh, impact for the SMEs. But that's my speech. Okay. okay, first of all, thank you for the uh for the presentation, it was, it was honestly very impressive, as well as commendable, all the activities that the chamber uh, is doing to support the SMEs. Uh, so my question, because you mentioned that there was a lack of accurate data in terms of SMEs. So currently, with all the various initiatives that are happening uh, within the kingdom, whether it's uh, through the government bodies or the chamber, um, is there data being collected on how successful these initiatives are? First of all, I would like to thank you for this, raise this question. And, and uh, Samia Filimban, she is one of the Jeddah Chamber employee, ex-employee, and we are so proud for her to be uh, 
for her, and she's here now uh, as one of the count uh, employee. And as you know, we are you are working for long since time for the Jeddah Economic Forum, and how we are you know, find obstacles to find a, a good resources of data. Until now, we, we if we get a data, we get a different kind of data. Each ministry is, they give us provide us a different kind of data. It not can, you know, if we just collect it together, we find a lot of different. Uh, aspect from this um, ministries. I, I think this is something that should be coming from governmental entity like um, planning and economy ministry. It should be collect all the data from the different governmental entity and you know, provide it for all uh, who need this data. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Ziad, uh, for shedding some light on um, the SMEs uh, as a whole in the kingdom. Uh, we'd just like to get some sort of um, your opinion in terms of what type of government incentives uh, would help support the SME platform, because we understand, like you mentioned, some of the existing regulations would kind of discourage a lot of the SMEs to, to start. So uh, from your expertise in visiting uh, some of the uh, countries around the world, what type of uh, incentive programs are we uh, considering? First of all, we would like to, to have a special entity, looking, a governmental entity looking for the SMEs. Second thing, we would like to have special law for the SMEs law, how to start the business and how to, you know, and the other things we would like to have um, more, as we, we just mentioned, more uh, training program for them, more uh, technical support program, more uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, loan grant loan to the SMEs, and also we would like to have. Uh, in, there is a huge of different services giving from the different parts of the world for the SMEs, and we have to looking what what's kind of the best practicals happen there, and easily duplicated here. Now, most of the SMEs, before they started their own businesses here in Saudi Arabia, they run out from their own capital. Because all these procedures and progresses to start their own businesses it took a long time to start the business and run out for the capital. This is, it should be you know, one stop shop for SMEs and so on, what is, uh, was mentioned in, in, in the presentation. Uh, thank you, Mr. Al-Bassam, for your informative speech and lecture. Uh, my question is related to Saudi female uh, entrepreneurs. Is there any difficulties that are facing um, Saudi female, female entrepreneurs? And if yes, uh, what's the role of the Jeddah um, SME Center that uh, you know, facilitate these difficulties? We keep usually saying, thank you for this, this, this question. It's a very good question. We keep usually saying Jeddah there. First uh, business women uh, entrepreneur committee it's held in Jeddah. The first uh, uh, board members of the chambers in the Saudi Arabia it was be in Jeddah. The first vice chairman of the chambers it was be in Jeddah chamber, and we are focusing for uh, supporting the men, the women businesses, especially and also the entrepreneur women businesses, yani, uh, especially. For the, we create um, a center we call it Khadija bint Khuwaili. This is supporting women to do the businesses. And we initiate uh, a business women entrepreneurs uh, uh, committee. This is to support the entrepreneurs to start their own business. They face a lot of problems. More than what the uh, yani men uh, they face, it, the women they face more. But we start doing this, raise it up. We do uh, several things. Uh, with the labor minister, and they give promise, and they give a special for the uh, business women entrepreneurs, and also for the, the for the trade minister, they give a special things for them. And now also we are working for the mayor of Jeddah to have their they start their own business from home based businesses. We try to get a license for this, is, and we try working on, but we have to you know, uh, more effort to support business women. 
<clears throat> Thank you very much for coming today to KAUST. Uh, I would like to ask one question which has two parts. So first thing I would like to ask that what are the challenges uh, for a uh, foreigner who wants to start SME in, in Saudi Arabia? And how can uh, Jeddah Chamber of Commerce support that initiative? Thank you. To start the businesses here in Saudi Arabia, uh, as a foreigner, you have to go th through the SAG, yeah? And uh, to start now, the SAG, yeah, they changed their vision to, uh, they are looking for um, a big company to come to Saudi Arabia. It was, they just, any um, foreigner, they would like to start their own businesses, they support him, they give him uh, the fully support to start their own businesses. But now, the rule of that yet changed, and they are looking for the labor sensitives, uh, actually, uh, foreigner company, and also for some high-tech foreigner company. In Jeddah Chamber, we, anyone he would like to come to start their own business, we, we give him all kind of services what we can. We all, the, the, we, we count him as a newcomer for the businesses, and we give this, we do not see any if any kind of effort for Saudis and non-Saudi, we, we work with them, all of them, as a, a businessman. Uh, it was very enlightening. I got to get a, a good overview of uh, the Chamber's activities. You mentioned regulations, and you know, in my opinion, fear of failure and lack of bankruptcy laws is one of the major stopgaps. Uh, you know, preventing people from starting companies. Is there any change to that coming soon or any other you know, positive changes to regulations that we can expect in the future? Actually, the most important rules, thank you for this question, it's a good question. The most important rules of the chambers in, in, in Saudi Arabia is to doing lobbying. And most lobbying going for changing the, the governmental bureaucracies and, and so on. And we try to work hard for this. Eh? And we have one initiative, maybe it wasn't, uh, we do uh, different kind of initiative to, to just modify this kind of progresses. We did um, um, a meeting with uh, the Royal Highness of uh, Mecca governors uh, and to meet with all uh, Saudi and Jeddah entrepreneurs and SMEs. We did this is in the exhibition and let him to bring and raise up all kind of obstacles they face from the governmental side and he tried to solve it and keep asking all the officials in, in the region to just simplify all this uh, progress. And the other thing, we do uh, a book or a guide book how, how to do all the kind of procedures of the governmental uh, license. And also we, we raise up for the Mecca region board uh, to do some kind of master shoppers and three bar, th third party audit to be assured those procedures is how long time it will take and how easy is it. And we are, this is, we do not get approval until now about it, but we hope to have the approval in the near future, inshallah. All your questions? Uh... The other Thank you. Thank you. And of course, thank you, Mr. Ziyad Hussam, for your time and attending.